Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're testing out another e-bike. These uh, these e-bikes have fast become uh, kind of a staple around the house here. We, we love to have these and use them uh, as a family to go out on trips. We live out in the country on dirt roads, so we can go right out and, and drive around uh, here, or we can take them up to our church parking lot or other places. They have you know parks and trails and all kinds of things where you can ride these, uh, these around. So they are a lot of fun. Today we're checking out a new bike. Uh, this is the Hobsco brand. It is a Hob Alpha 26 inch fat tire e-bike. It's a 750 watt uh, e-bike. This one's a little different than some of the other ones that I have tested. And we're gonna take it through the, the ropes here. We're gonna go up some hills. We're gonna drive some dirt roads. We're gonna take some length tests. We're gonna see what kind of speeds we get. Um, this one is a little different than some of the other ones. It has a, a pedal assist and then also a full electric mode with different speeds uh, that are available with that. This also connects with an app that you can use to uh, control some of the features as well as uh, track your progress and miles and, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the bike first and then we will get it out on the road and uh, play around a little bit, see what we got. So this uh, 26 inch fat tire e-bike, this is made for, for off-road. Uh, the fat tires are amazing. We've got a few of them like this and they work really good on loose gravel and sand and dirt and and of course pavement as well. Battery is actually built into the frame on this model, so it's actually inside here. And I'll show you some features with this battery. This actually comes out and it has some multi-purpose uh, things you can use that battery for. It is a, a regular seven speed bike as far as if you don't charge it or don't use the electric features on it. Uh, you can just adjust your your uh, gears here. Uh, this thumb here will, will downshift and then there's a trigger on the back side that will, uh, that will upshift and so you can you can go through the gears that way as you're driving, which is really nice. Of course, you've got your brake uh, brakes here on each side. They label these as a, as a hydraulic brake, so I'm not sure what part of it is hydraulic, if the entire system is hydraulic or just a portion of the actual uh, uh, brake here. These are driven by uh, these hub motors. There's actually lots of different um, styles you can get. Uh, I've seen some that are actually have a hub motor on the front and the rear online, and some that have the hub motor on the in the pedal system here. This one is a, a rear wheel hub motor. All the controls here are pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Uh, the refresh rate on this is actually slower than my phone, and so you're gonna see it flicker. It's not flickering in real life, it's nice and solid. Uh, this just has a couple features. You can do your trip uh, or odometer uh, here on the bottom. Uh, this is your pedal assist level that goes from zero to five. Zero is no pedal assist. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five are just different various levels. This is the highest level of assistance, and so if you press harder on the pedals, it will give you more energy from the motors. Battery indicator on the top. Um, battery indicator just as a as a five dot level, so it's actually uh, five dots is full, and four is like about eighty percent, and then it continues down from there. Control interface here just has lights, and then your information button, and then your pedal assist uh, here, the light. So as you hold the light button down, that gives you your front light here. This one does not have a rear brake light, it just has a reflector on the rear. So this battery is removable with the key, so no one can steal it. So you unlock it, and then there's a lever right here. You can actually take this whole battery out. So the advantage of taking the battery out is that you can uh, take this in an office, let's say, or just take it right inside in the wintertime, or um, if you're traveling somewhere, you know, on a longer trip, you can bring it right inside with you and charge it in the, in a, you know, in an office or a building or at work or wherever you are, a park or something like that. You can take the battery with you, so you don't have to bring the charger to the bike, you can bring the battery uh, to the charger, which is pretty handy. There's a battery level indicator here, right on the battery. If you press that, it tells you where it's at. And this does have, this is actually a, a giant LED light. And so if you're camping or something, you could use this as a, as a light source. Of course, you do not have to take the battery out to charge it. You can just pull your bike into your garage or something and you just plug the charger right in here to the bottom port. So when you power it up for the first time, it, uh, it is a Bluetooth. You connect to your phone and then you can use their app to change it from class two to class three. So this is where things get a little confusing, I think, with the with e-bike. There are different laws in different states and different countries. And so uh, the, these e-bike manufacturers are trying to do their best to meet all of those requirements. And they have different ways of doing that. This comes shipped as a class two e-bike, which means it has a pedal assist uh, electronic motor or full electronic. You know, you can just hold your thumb on the trigger uh, and it'll take you without pedaling at all up to 20 miles an hour. Then, it, then the motor will cut out. 
Uh, this brand allows you to update this to, you can select a class three manually on your own from the app and you can change it from a class two to a class three, which allows you to go up to 28 miles per hour with pedal assist. It still won't allow you to just, you know, put your finger on the gas and, and just go all the way to 28 miles an hour with no pedaling. After 20 miles an hour, you do need to pedal a little bit to keep pressure on those pedals and it will assist you electronically up to 28 miles per hour. Uh, so that's the difference with this bike. So 20 miles an hour is as fast as you can go in class two or class three on just full assist mode without pedaling. The other thing that's different about this is the uh, accelerator is a little different. So this is your electric assist here. This is you know, full assist. This is basically your throttle. Uh, it is a thumb throttle and it is on the left hand side. I do like it on the left hand side because I can use my right hand sometimes with my phone or other things and still keep uh, pressure on the accelerator, which is nice. So if you press this, uh, it's turned off right now. I have it in zero. Once you put this in, in level one, uh, this is gonna start to, to go. Uh, and this, this again will take you all the way up to 20 miles an hour just by pressing the accelerator. Uh, some of the other ones I've seen have a hand grip accelerator, and so you turn the accelerator here or a little system right here that you spin. I haven't determined whether I like the thumb better than the, the actual throttle, like a, more like a motorcycle throttle. That's pretty much all the basics. Let's get this thing out on the road and uh, see how far we can go, how fast we can go, and how well it rides. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell this uh, on video, but this is a pretty steep hill. I don't know exactly what the grade would be. We have a lot of hills like this uh, here and then a real long hill going up the other side. And then our driveway is a real steep hill as well. Uh, these bikes do perform differently. This one I, at full assist without me pedaling at all, kept at about 11 miles an hour all the way up the hill. We'll do some distance testing first. So I'll kind of just drive around the dirt roads here. Uh, we, we were down to 80% from just some of the playing around that I had already done. And so we'll see, uh, we'll see how long we can go on the rest of the, the battery before we are pretty much out of juice. Keep it at full speed as long as we can. So it's about 20 miles an hour. Just doing a little exploring around the neighborhood. I didn't even know this was here. There's a, there's a boat launch. Pretty typical Michigan. Thousands and thousands of lakes like this. Scattered all over the place. I cannot believe they cut this tree down. If you watch any of my other e-bike videos, uh, we've often come down this road to this tree. It's like, it's the biggest tree I've ever seen in, uh, in Michigan. Uh, it's just gigantic. And it looks like they, they cut it down. I'm not sure why, probably maybe it was danger um, or maybe part of it fell. Look at the size of the trunk. So to give you a perspective, that's the size 11 shoe. There's another perspective. The entire e-bike <laughs> fits inside the tree. That's, that's crazy. All right, we found a lot more hills on this road, so we'll really test that battery out when we get going up some of these steeper, longer hills. Am I? One thing that would be helpful on here would be a compass. These 
These guys have been a regular around the neighborhood. A couple sandhill cranes. Well, we've been riding for almost an hour, uh, and it looks like we still have two bars on the battery left. I've gone about almost 15 miles, so when I head back uh, back towards the house, I'm getting getting close to the right area. So we'll head back towards the house and uh, see where the battery ended up. In the blinking screen you can see 15.5 miles and the battery indicator still has two bars and the app will tell you more specifically it's at about 20 percent what i mainly use uh, the e-bike for is riding back and forth to to work which is about 12 miles so this would easily handle a, a 20 mile trip with a full charge even going up and down hills uh, if you're just using not using the pedals at all uh, I think you could easily go probably 30 miles with this thing. They say that you could go 80 miles with pedal assist. So if you were pedaling and assist, you know, the whole time, uh, you could go up to 80 miles. So about 15 and a half miles, we used about 60% of the battery. So I think we could uh, we go pretty far with this. Well, a couple things that I like about this bike better than some of the other ones that I have used. Uh, number one, the pedal assist is a lot more variable, meaning that uh, with some of the other bikes, you know, if you just touch the pedals at all, it just starts going. With this one, it has individual levels of assistance, so you can actually pedal. The harder you pedal, the more it will engage, and you can adjust that level uh, pretty pretty incrementally. So you, you, you can turn it down and just use the bike as more of an exercise or, you know, get out and have fun, but then when you get tired, you can turn it up a little bit, and it'll help you help you get home uh, of course you can still use this as an electric only without pedaling at all which is what I generally use it for uh, driving back and forth to work or just taking cruises around the neighborhood the brakes on this bike are better than any other bike that I have used uh, they they are great in fact uh, I do wish that they were flip-flopped I kind of like the rear brake to be in my left hand especially when I'm filming with my right hand and I have the accelerator with my left hand. So I always have my left hand on the bike and I, I got mixed up a few times as to which uh, brake was which. That's the front brake. But it definitely locks those tires up. I mean, when you hit those brakes, it's gonna stop, uh, at least the tires. And so uh, it works better than most of the other bikes I've had. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another electric bike overview. Uh, these have become a staple in our family and something that we do quite often to uh, have some fun together. I love these electric bikes. I love electric equipment. I love being able to charge things under my own uh, power, whether it's uh, from the, the future wind generator that uh, I'll get to working here, or solar panels and other things, being able to charge things uh, with our own power and use them for transportation or fun is something I'm definitely hooked on and these e-bikes fit right into that and so that's why uh, one of the reasons why I love them. Of course a link to this bike in the description as well as the Hobsco website. Check out any of their other bikes. They've got a bunch of different electric uh, products that you can look at and any discount codes that they offer will be uh, in the description below. So uh, check those out and uh, get yourself a bike, get a discount and uh, go have some fun with your family. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and as always guys thanks for watching. Have a good one.